Here we're going to tie the pearl and elk caddis. First thing we're going to do is just lay down a thread base. Next we're going to tie in some fine wire. Once you've done that, you're going to take your mylar pearl tinsel. This is what gives the pearl and elk its name. Adds a little bit of flash to the fly. Then you take your thread to the front of the hook here. You take your mylar, and we're just going to wrap over each wrap as we go forward. Once you get to the front, you're going to capture it. And at this step, I'm actually going to just run a two-turn whip finish over it real quick. That way, in case I bump my bob in here as we're wrapping hackle, it doesn't all come undone. Next step is to wrap the hackle for the body. Simply just going to tie that in near the front of the hook here. I'm going to wrap this backwards. As I get to the back here, I'm going to take my copper wire and I'm going to segment the fly by taking that wire and just wrapping it through those pieces of hackle. I get to the front, I'm going to just capture that wire. Trim the top of the hackles down. Trim the back piece off. Now it's time to tie in our elk hair. Just use bleached elk. And you are going to want to put it in a hair stacker to even up the tips. And you want the tips to be just a hair longer than the shank of the hook. I do a loose wrap first over those. Gradually tighten down. Now I'm actually going to bite through the some of the hair itself. This will keep it from spinning on me. Once I get to the front here, I can tie it off pull all the butt ends of the elk forward try to separate those from the tips I'm going to trim a head, just a little bit of a bushy head to it. And 
That is a pearl and elk. There we go. See the body there has a little bit of flash to it.